Hello guys, welcome back to Sand VFX. We are back with another exciting tutorial and today we're gonna take a look at a free modifier called Gribble. Okay, this modifier is available for free and you can download it from the internet. I'll provide the link in the description. So uh, what actually is this modifier? Um, you can see an example what I created using this modifier. Actually it is a detail generator or what to say. Um, it's kind of like it adds another uh, geometry on top of one geometry. Okay, so we'll demonstrate it so that it will be more clear. So first of all, let me create a simple box. Okay, and once I create the box, let me go to modify panel, and from the modifier list, let me go down to gribble. Okay, once I click, you can start to see some details added into it, and it definitely looks something uh, science fiction types. Okay, so if we have lots of these objects, it could make a really good science fiction set. Okay. You do have control over all of these uh, settings from the settings right here, so you can change all the parameters on your own. Okay, so first of all, we do have the generate form that's quadrilateral and triangles. Actually, they are not so, uh, does not matter because there are no triangles right now. If I go to F4, you can see that uh, we cannot see any triangles. Okay, and we do have quad. If we turn off that, we don't get any results. If we turn off triangles, nothing happens because we don't have any triangles on our scene. Okay, so see it changes. Uh, it gives a variation to what it has created by default. Okay, you can see we can keep changing until we are satisfied. And then we do have two different options right here like the panels and the widgets. First of all let me turn off the widgets and you can see the small details are gone now. So that's what the widgets are and the panel are these larger details. If I turn off that everything goes off. Okay because we have not preserved our original geometry. We do have that options for keeping original geometry and if we do that even though if we turn off the panels we can see our geometry. Okay so let's go and see what the panels are. Okay it's just uh, generate a bigger size blocks right out of our geometry. And we do can change the minimum height and the maximum height, increase them, and the taper options is available as well. So if we want it to be sharper or flat, whatever we want, we can do that. Okay. And the material wants that means it will have a material ID one. Let me go to material editor and let me create a multi sub object get material and from here multi sub object okay so if I drag this material right into our ID1 instance and let me apply this to this object right here now you can see all these objects are now in gray color okay if I set it to material 2 then we can see now it's black because we don't have any material assigned on ID2 let me go to another slot and change the diffuse color to something like blue and let me drag it to the material slot too okay now you can see now they are colored in blue okay now that's it we can also select the tops the faces or the sides if we want to select them or delete them or modify them we can just do, do that from here now the next things are the widgets they are really cool they give uh, smaller details that gives a really a sci-fi look or a sci-fi feel. We do have various widgets like the triangle, L-shaped, triple one, double or a single one. We can turn off any of these or keep only one or we can select multiple of them. Okay. Like in the panels we do have minimum size and the maximum size. We can increase the size. Also we do have height. We can increase the height as per our wish and the density will give uh, there will be more details into our scene if I increase the density you can see we're getting more details but don't go too high to make crash your scene so just keep it uh, pretty low okay that looks good and you can see the material ID is 2 so let me go to material editor again and let me set it to 1 now okay now you can see the first one uh, the panels are in gray color and the widgets are in blue color because we have assigned 
um, gray color in the ID1 slot and ID2 slot we have assigned blue color okay now that's it there's nothing more really pretty simple and gives a really good result okay so let's uh, do a quick example on what can be possible with this simple modifier let me go ahead and create a plane okay and I don't want any segments okay. now let me go ahead and add in a gribble modifier gribble okay now nothing it does not look anything good but let me turn off the widgets and let me okay I'll turn off the panels and let me turn on widgets as well as I'm gonna keep the original geometry and I'm gonna set turn off this triangle and L shapes as well as triple and double only I'm gonna add in a single and let me increase the density to something like 15 oh, sorry 10 or maybe 5 okay and I'm gonna reduce the maximum size down okay sorry okay now I'm gonna increase the height really up okay so if you see it'll look kind of like a city from far away if I increase the density you can see okay you can create a larger plane to create a larger city and you can give some variations okay like the height maximum size okay minimum size you can change them at all okay and let me I can also scale them that's good in that way okay now once that's done if I want some additional detail I can just turn in on uh, sorry add in another gribble on top of it and you can see now I have these details okay now let me turn off the panel oh, okay that's gonna be good and let me increase the height for the widgets now you can see it will look kind of like a sci-fi city if you look at that like in the image yes so with pretty simple settings few of the settings you can get a really good result so the possibilities can be imagined at a higher amount so there are lots of possibilities that you can do with this modifier you can again add in another gribble on top of it if you want okay that that gonna be slow but you can see we've got a uh, little more details right there it in like that that looks uh, okay not just that you can manually create your city like creating a few of them and duplicating them and add in a gribble modifier on top of each and every one just select all of them and add in a gribble turn off okay increase the density of widgets height as well in that way you can have your own city build as well or you can also use a script called ghost town to create a city and then add in these details to make a side by city out of a simple city okay the possibilities are a lot of them there are lots of possibilities so you just go ahead and try it out and hope you can come out with uh, something really good so so that's it for this tutorial we'll see you soon with more tutorials coming ahead and thank you guys for watching don't forget to check our website sandvfx.com and don't forget to subscribe thank you very much see you soon